right, hello everyone. Um, today I'm in this area called Kodoma in Osaka. Um, I just finished up working today. It's a Saturday, and we had like a Halloween event, so um, we just we just did the whole concert, and it's it's about five minutes from the station, and. Um, I was thinking I was gonna give my blood because I've been wanting to give my blood for a while and they have like these um, they have like these little buses and you can give blood to them but I don't really speak Japanese so I don't know how this is gonna be this is gonna go but perhaps um, it's not gonna work out because I don't know my blood type really for sure um, and then I'm gonna go meet up my girlfriend and then I'm gonna go meet up my girlfriend and then we'll maybe go to Koreatown I'm sorry if it's a little windy and and um, yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry about my face too. My face, I got maybe like a scratch here, and I've been kind of playing with it, um, and it just got bigger. Not playing with it, but just touching my face, um, and I've been getting a lot of acne. So um, yeah, let's. I'm gonna go try to get some blood right. I'll oh, give my blood right now. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if they speak English. All right, so this station is called Furukawabashi Station. And um, yeah, I couldn't give the blood because you have to speak Japanese and um, I, I couldn't really understand them so I just left and it's just too much hassle for, for them. So um, they have like this Eon mall here. So I think I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I just wanna see what's inside. It looks like a really old Eon mall. So I'm gonna check it out. So my coworker lives right down the street from here and he said that they remodeled this whole street 10, 10 years ago but it doesn't look like it's been remodeled for 20 years because this this whole area just seems so old feels like 1990s I mean look at this building look at this um like this glass mirror I don't know we're gonna go in here but I really love coming to like these um to these like uh old little old little towns look at this this, this barbershop here you know this is probably like a hub for all the people around this area to come to shop and do whatever they need to do let's go inside here they don't even have like the automatic tours The Halloween stuff. All right, I don't think maybe this place would be that interesting. They got upstairs. I think they have like a game center here as well, like a really small one. Got some gotchas over here. Bunch of gotchas. just go all the way through oh they got a little food court here with a bunch of um, older folks here but it's really small it's not much food here it's like kind of old old style got some udon noodles Yakisoba, tonkatsu. Dang, it looks so old in here. All right, they got some some stores here. Kind of reminds me of China. Just like um, they got all like these uh, old style clothes here for like grandmas and grandpas got some restaurants just the one restaurant here this is crazy some of these places I feel like I'm going back in time like a time capsule go upstairs do that a lot of these um, Eon malls are really hit or miss Jewelry store. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's really hit or miss. Some Eons are crazy luxurious, like some of the ones that I've been to. And then some are like this. Um, that This one, there's one near my house that's just like this. It's kind of, um, you know, bare minimum. Been there for a long time. They got a grocery store. We'll check out the grocery store real quick. See how big this place is. I do need some peanut butter, but I'm probably not going to get it. But look, they got organic peanut butter, which is not really common in grocery stores. They don't even have regular peanut butter in the grocery stores. I mean, they have their own Japanese brand, but usually places like Eon, like this place, will have all sorts of um, different variety of things. Like organic peanut butter. It's not that common. And then they'll have like the special Tropicana drink sometimes see like these like these Tropicana drinks you won't find that in the regular grocery store but um, yeah usually these Eon malls I would compare them to like a Walmart back home yeah this place is huge but you know this probably um, this place probably attends, probably tends to um, This pro place probably tends to a far range of um, people in this area Yeah, see it's so big People probably come really far to come here Not far, but it probably reaches um pretty far for people to come here to shop for their food got some uh, special snacks here if you want to give them as gifts a lot of these gift snacks are really good Let's go upstairs. This building, it smells old too. It smells like it's from the 90s. So this place only has three floors, but they're very long and big floors. So I think this is like um, the clothes items, the clothes um, area. We got like Champion. These are not bad price, 20 bucks. Usually Champion is so expensive here. 30 bucks for this Just looking at myself This hat's really nice, I want to get this but maybe not You got like this guest hat It's like 40 bucks I mean most um Most of the kids at my school or kids in general in uh, Japan will shop at uh, Eon because they have like regular clothes and then they have like you know stuff like Champion and Nike they got really cheap clothes for like I don't know five bucks and if they're on sale like these are only 300 yen so it's like three bucks for these clothes so a lot of the um, children will come shop here or the parents will buy clothes for their um, kids. See, like stuff like this. Look at all these kids' clothes. This one's a hundred yen. It's a dollar. So, yeah, these are only like four bucks, five bucks. And so I noticed too, like um, a lot of the uh, kids at my schools. Um, or the schools that I've worked at, they're like rich kids. Like they're sometimes their families, maybe their dad is a doctor, and then they'll shop around here, and just that's how some people just save money, I guess, just buy like really cheap clothes for their kids because they're gonna grow out of them anyways. But um, yeah, stuff like this. See, they got like Adidas and Nike. These are ten bucks. It's just normal stuff here. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop. 
But I love coming to these Eon malls. They got just so many things here. And especially if they're like time capsule capsules like these, it's really interesting. Especially because I'm never gonna come back here again. We were just there. Alright, so I guess this is the um arcade. Whoa. And so a lot of um a lot of families will come here on the weekends or just just kids in general by themselves. Because um, they can just come here and play. Look how big this place is. It's just a regular mall. Oh, and then there's like a bookstore over there. So I guess you can win some food. Got some motorcycles. You can get an iPad. Got some gachas. Oh, my girlfriend loves these. Should we get one? I don't think I have 300. Let's see. One. Two. Three. I can't see it, but um, I'll let my girlfriend open it. If she likes these. All right, they got some. Uh, Gambling games. This zebra se seating. Jaws. It's a uh, pachinko. Some uh, doll games here. Should I play one? That's pretty cool. Got some uh, hamsters. Oh, I got a Korean flag. Whoa. I gotta take a picture of this. Got some Pikachu, got some pillows. Oh, look at that. That crunchy bits. Grandma. Oh my gosh, look at that big bag of chips. Chips. And BB gun. Uh, prizes. Whoa. Hello. Oh, what is this? Weird. Got some people just uh, hanging out here. We got some more things here. I think that's pretty much it. Is that the last floor? All right, so I noticed the uh, men's section here. And I saw some really cheap clothes here. 
I mean, look at these $15 for these uh, warm looking sweaters I mean this is probably where all the kids shop at and I saw some like $5 shirts here oh these are all $5 this one's $7 I think I might buy one actually so these are a thousand these are on sale some shorts champion shorts 10 bucks let's see here's some 500 yen shirts yeah these don't look that great what's this common rider got some common rider shirts 500 yen some weird tiger shirts common rider got some dunlop one this is dunlop not bad this is the eon shirt the eon brand shirt top value I mean, 500 yen is not bad look at this dunlop shirt I, this was a large i would buy this they're on mediums oh i dropped it I'm actually like an extra large here because um, this one's double L because size run a little bit smaller in Japan I think I'm like a medium in America but here I'm an extra large because I like my shirts a little bit bigger but I want to get one of these Tokyo shirts they're probably too small this one's a small $7 I really want to buy buy um, buy these sizes. This, yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll even take a polo. All right, I'm gonna look through these. See Tokyo 2020. Not bad. Outback. Yeah, I'm gonna look so through some of these sizings. See if um. See if anything fits the sign says let's halloween so it's not really festive like um back home they just have like the signs out but it's not like you know crazy big like we have back home um i think same goes for christmas it's not like such a huge thing where you can feel You can feel the uh, Christmas and Halloween presents. All right. So, um, to be honest, I've been wanting to give my blood, but um, once I got to the person I started to talk to them, I felt kind of scared actually. And so I feel kind of glad that I didn't go through it, but I, I really been wanting to give my blood. This is what it looks like from the outside. Alright, we're gonna go to the station. I guess there's some things in the station. It's like a small little mall inside. So I'm gonna go inside right now and um, just look around. This cool car. So yeah, here's the uh, the van. And you'll, you'll see these all around, um, well, Japan, I guess. Around, around my area, but the, you can pretty much just give your blood there. So there's a bunch of restaurants down here and the other side as well and then this place is called Core. This is the Keihan line. Got a bakery here. So I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna just be a bunch of old lady clothes. But we're gonna just go in anyways and try to look around. Just want to show you guys what, um, what a uh, local neighborhood um, place looks like. This one's nice. Look at this. This is crazy. What is what is that? It's like a crepe, crepe cream banana thing at Sundays. Oh, it looks pretty dead in here. Maybe they'll open more stores, and maybe they renovated this section. They got some music playing. 
kind of old uh, 90s rock alternative music. All right, so at the end here, they have like uh, a small little arcade place here. That's some, uh, I don't know who would come here. That's an Antanan. I think these kind of games are probably much easier to um, win because it's like in the back of a back of a corner here. You can like win these prizes. It's like a gacha, and then you get the numbers. I think if you win something. These look really fun. Alright. So I think they're kind of um they're gonna open up more stores in this area, I think, like these little places here. Alright, let's go to the other side. I'm guessing it's gonna be the more or less the same thing. They got Loteria, Coco Curry, Mr. Donut. I don't know what that's over there. Looks like some sort of shopping area. Mr. Donuts right here. Yeah, it looks like it's a grocery store. Whoa. Yeah, maybe just do a quick, just a quick peek. So there's two grocery stores just in this um, area. Seems like more of your local stuff here. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, so my coworker lives, he walked that way. So he said it's about 10, minute, 10 minutes from here by, um, by foot. And he said that there's not much around here and this is pretty much it. So there's probably nothing around here more than that. Um, I'm just trying to give a good look before I leave because this is probably gonna last, be the last time I'm in this area, but. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing beyond beyond this place here. I'm just gonna make sure, go across the street, look around a little bit. Look at this uh, handicap bus. It's pretty cool. All right, so this is the Kahan line. And um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty empty. Got this pharmacy here, and uh, just looks like a bunch of houses back there. So I think that's pretty much it. But I just want to give you guys a quick look of this area, this local area, and um, just want to get you kind. Of, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a just a feel of this, um, of like a, just a local neighborhood in Japan. So. With this, this is gonna give a better look here. Yeah, see, just a bunch of houses and apartments. I bet you it's pretty cheap right here. This city is called Kodoma. Kodoma. Yeah, I'm gonna turn back now. Here comes the train. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this one was kind of short and quick, but I'm gonna be going to uh, Koreatown today and meet my girlfriend right now. So. Um, please look out for that future video and thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.